See how this is not very flat? It's kind of got ridges and mm -hmm. crap like that. I'm trying to use this heat sink compound to flatten it out as much as possible. And um, when I do that, I'm going to put this mm -hmm. flat, shiny piece of aluminum on it so that it's nice and flat. Mm -hmm. And um, after I get done that, this thing will be able to transfer heat much better than it used to be. This is some really crappy thermal glue. Like, it's really bad. Like, it came in this little vial from Hong Kong, and there's not a lot in it, and uh, it's kind of disappointing. I'm going to try to flatten this out as much as possible. I'll put a bunch of it in these little ridges here, and here, and especially along the edge of this right here. I really got to get it as flat as I possibly can. I wish there was some kind of tool I could use for this, because a lot of this is just going to get wasted because it's all over my finger. I don't have a lot of it to waste. It's really thick, kind of dried out already. I'm going to try to smooth it out as much as I can with my finger. And see how all that's covered up now? That's what I'm looking for. You better put that aluminum on it before it dries. Yeah, I'm going to. Alright, I've gotten that. This stuff actually takes a very long time to dry. Longer? Long time to dry. Like, this could take days if I'm trying to get it on here as soon as possible. Alright, and that ought to be flat enough for my purposes. And, uh, whenever I want to turn this upside down and mount it onto here, can you see that? Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to put some more thermal compound on there to get it to contact with those Peltzer units. Well, now I've got to see how much of this crap I can save by getting as much of this back into this little tube. This right here alone is about, I don't know, five or six bucks by itself. Try and get as much of it saved as I possibly can for future use. I ordered some another little bit of it, but not this kind. I ordered something called Arctic Silver. It's supposed to be the best stuff. It has it has some zinc in it, some silver in it, some copper in it. It's got all kinds of crap in it, but it's supposed to be the best when it comes to heat sinking CPU units to uh, cooling systems. So now that I've gotten this flattened out, I need to kind of let it cook for a little while. And by cook, I mean I just need to let it stay in the heat for a while so that it solidifies nicely the way I want it to. And uh, this, is this little piece sheet of aluminum here, I made a couple of them just in case. I actually cut this out of a, a lid of an old tin box that I wasn't, that we weren't using anymore. My wife liked it a lot, so I'm going to get her some more Danish cookies this year. Um, she really liked the little canister though, so let me get her a new one. It's not a canister, it's a box. Box, whatever, what, I don't know what, the, it's, a, it's an aluminum container. I know, but it's pretty. It was pretty, no it's not. But, uh, I used a, uh, little sanding tool to sand it out, get all the paint off, smooth it out so it's nice and flat. And, um, hopefully that'll be as flat as I need this to be to transfer as much heat as possible to this heat sink right here. And that's all I got for right now. Right now I gotta go to class. So I'll see you later. This of course is my heat sink. Uh, and I've got, where is it? This crap, this uh, little thermal glue. It works really well. I just got finished the painstaking process of attempting to mount this thing securely onto the lid of my cooler. Now. It's about as stable as it can be because I've put these brackets here and screwed those down as tight as hell. Um, my, only, my only problem is I don't think I'm ever going to take this lid off. <laughs> now that it's so huge, I don't think I'm ever going to, like, be able to just, oh, let's just pop it off, you know? It, it's just kind of, it's kind of like, it, it's just not going to do, it's just not going to work like that anymore. Anyway, this old fan, I tried to bolt it down in the cheapest way possible. 
It's pretty sturdy though, it's not going anywhere. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some duct tape and I'm going to create like a, a little tunnel between the fan and the heat sink so that the fan is blowing directly into the heat sink. I tried to figure out how to mount the fan onto here, but it made everything so lopsided and made this thing want to fall over because of the weight of the fan. So I'm just going to try to see if I can tunnel, just channel the air blown by the fan straight into the heat sink using some duct tape. And I'll show you what that looks like after I'm done with that. All right, I have it, kind of, sort of. Uh, this might not be very permanent, but it sure as hell is working. I mean, it's I'm feeling a good steady flow of air coming out of here, which is what I want. Um, I have everything turned on right now. I'm cranking out about, you know, 7.9, about 8 volts coming out of this sucker. I'm going to actually crank it up a little bit more just, just to see a good even 8 this way. There we go. That's close enough for me. And this thing's starting to get warm. Like, I'm feeling right in here, these copper tubes feel pretty warm. And that's good, but they're I can also no I'm also noticing that uh, it's not getting warm as fast, which means that this heat sink, combined with this fan, are doing their job. They're getting rid of the heat off of this heat sink. God, that's the most horrible looking thing I've ever invented in my life. That looks pretty bad. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not into aesthetics much, but this looks pretty bad. Anyway, uh, I've pretty much this is pretty much how it could end up looking. I might never have to unscrew anything off of this again. Um, in about ten minutes, I'm going to see how cold it is on the inside, and uh, meanwhile, I'm going to try to upload this footage. If there's there's nothing more to this, this should be part twelve. If there's nothing more to this, that means that it didn't work and I'm remodifying it, but I'm too depressed, so I just went ahead and uploaded the footage anyway. Anyway, I'm just gonna let this run for a little bit and see how cold it gets on the inside. And that's it for right now. Hello everybody. Um I just wanna let you know this thing seems to be working better than it has ever worked before. Um I'm gonna show you one uh, just two or three other modifications I did. Uh this is a small heat sink that I didn't I wasn't really using for anything. And I found a way to attach it to this, and uh, because these things were getting really hot, I decided to stick a heat sink right here, because, well, why not? I had one that fit perfectly, so why not? Um, I'm going to show you a couple other things. I don't know if I ever showed you that I buried the probe. Do you see that uh, copper tubing? All that is, it's just kind of sh some soft copper tubing, about five feet of it I got at Home Depot. I literally just just crammed it in there, just stuck it right in. Like, there's nothing in these tubes, it's just air, is all it is. Copper is one of the most conductive metals of heat that uh, humanity knows of, so that's why I decided to use copper, because it's very conductive. Um, I also decided to put some water in here to see if this thing will actually do what I want it to do. Now, this thing seemed to work really well with just regular air, so I'm going to crank it on. I'm going to crank this thing all the way up. And, uh, over time, I'm going to see how cold it gets. And I'm going to be testing with this, just using cold water. I'm going to see how cold my cold water gets. Because, uh, this thing actually is blowing out some really hot air, which means it's working well. I have it cranked all the way up to 12 volts. So, we're going to see how far this goes. If I want to crank it up even more, I might go all the way to 13 volts or higher if it seems to be handling that okay. The higher the voltage gets, the more powerful it gets. So, right now I have it at 12. I'm satisfied. Uh, I'm still testing to see how long it's going to take up to make this water room temperature. When it is done, this thing will click off. It'll just stop. And that's precisely what I want. And meanwhile, I'm very, very, this is the happiest I've been in, like, two weeks. Like, this thing is actually starting to work. It's just... It makes me really happy, and I'm ready to actually show it to people now. Like, before, people were kind of like, hey, well, I kind of want to know what it looks like, and stuff. I want to see it, and I was like, you know, I'm just, I'm just not done with it. I'm just not, I'm not ready to show it to anybody, but now I really am. I can finally say that I am proud of what I've done. I have finished something that I didn't think I could do, and uh, I've learned a lot in the process, and I hope that I've given back some of that information to YouTube and to the Internet and anybody else who wants to get into this kind of thing. Um... Maybe in a few hours, I'll see if this thing actually works. Meanwhile, I'll see you guys later.